Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. Today we're in Central Park and we're gonna shoot a few different portraits. There's gonna be a series of videos. The next few videos, we're gonna cover a lot of different techniques out here, but the first thing I wanna talk about is using reflectors. This is the first tool that most people go to when they're working in natural light. And we wanna talk a little bit about how we'd use it and my thought process. Um, I'm using a Westcott 6-in-1 in this particular setup and I'm using one piece over here to, to Richard's got me in a little scrim action so we can keep the light even on me, as you can see how that works. Uh, but Dave's gonna use the, the light on our model Tiffany. So in this particular situation, I've got her standing in this tunnel with a beautiful light behind her, like this, this circle of light behind her. And I set my exposure based on that. So I put her in the shade. Now, a lot of people might think we have a reflector, put the person in the sun and then just reflect them and you can fill in. But if you do that, not only does it usually look blotchy, but also your model is gonna melt. So I usually try to put them in the shade even though I have a reflector. So even though my subject's in the shade, I need to make sure that my assistant stays in the sun, obviously, because that's where they're reflecting the sun in for. So since we got a bit of a distance going on here, Dave's gonna use a silver reflector to give us more punch. The other thing too is when you're reflecting, I always see people grab reflectors and put them underneath somebody. If you do that, you're sending light from the bottom, which typically is not what you want to do. So what I would say is, if, especially if you're using a silver or gold reflector, make sure your assistant's gonna hold it up in the air. They'll catch the light and then send it back down onto the model. It looks much more natural. So let me just take a shot here with no reflector so we can see what it looks like. She's well exposed. The background looks good. It's just a little bit flat. What I want is a little bit of punch to my portrait, so I'm gonna have Dave bring in the silver reflector. And again, he's gonna scoop the light from above and send it down onto the model. Let me look. And now we have a lot more contrast, a lot more of a punchy image with this. Okay, so we moved out of the tunnel a little bit because Tiffany's got this beautiful red hair and I love to give a, a hair light to a red-headed model and unfortunately there's no way we're gonna get light kicked all the way from the back of the tunnel through to her hair. So we brought her out here into the shade. I still have the tunnel behind her to get a similar feel and Dave's gonna use the gold side of the reflector just to throw light on the back of her hair. Okay, Richard's got a white reflector just in close just to kind of clean up the light on her face. I mean, again, he's using a white reflector so he can be close and he can be a little bit low with it. It's not gonna look like a third light source. Um, so let's see what this looks like. So every photographer needs to have a reflector in their kit. It's one of the most basic tools you should have for working with natural light and they're very, very versatile. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time on set.